Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer, and um, I'm going to be showing a bunch of different iPad apps and functionality and things like that. But one that I want, wanted to uh, show you and I couldn't give up was uh, was the MLB at Bat application. Now, uh, regular season just kicked off yesterday with uh, Seattle playing Oakland, and they won. Now I'm watching the tenth inning here of the Seattle Oakland game. And um, we're going to get things started here in just a second with uh, listening to the audio. I'll show you that part. Cliff Lee rejoining the team maybe late this month. Here's Kuzminov. He takes a breaking ball outside, 1-0. and Got hit by a pitch, grounded a third, grounded a second, and then credited with an infield hit in the eighth inning, but a race not a double play. Six hits for the A's, five for Seattle. Here's the 1-0. Curveball inside. Two balls and no strikes to Kuzminov, who hit 18. So as you can see here, you can either choose the Seattle uh, radio or the Oakland. I like the Seattle radio, so listen to that. But you have the choices. Then it has the other games that are going on right now that you can choose from as well. And that's just by tapping that speaker headset icon up top. Now there's also highlights that will appear over here on the right. So if I tapped on a highlight, it uh, opens up a small window and it plays the highlight in a small window. You can also bounce it out to full screen. Watch the highlight for a double play by the Mariners there. And then you can pop it back in, play it again, or you can close that highlight and then it will switch through different highlights and things like that. But it's designed to give you live stats. You can see there's pitches here coming in um, in the strike zone down there. Now if I tap on the A's, we can see that there's some live stats for their team. Over here we see the Mariners live stats and then in the center here we've got uh, information on the pitchers, right? So there's uh, Jack Wilson. Oh, now batting. So we've got some live information right there. Who's batting? Who's pitching down below? Sorry, I missed that. Um, there's live. There's the box. Summary. And the field. There we see who's on the field and who's playing right there. And then we go back to live. We can see pitch one, pitch two, called strike, 88 miles per hour fastball. We can look over here. You know, it's nice to see some stats. We've got uh, Griffey Jr. there back with the Mariners. Nice to see. He's one for three tonight, batting 333. And we got got uh, who's up. Ichiro Suzuki's on deck. Jack Wilson's at bat right now. I'm a big Ichiro fan, so I'd like to see what's going on there. Pop that back in. Don't really care about. That. And then up top is the games that uh, have been played today. You can see there's some scores. And then you can come up here. You can actually go to different days, right? So you go to Wednesday. And then it will kind of give me what's coming up Wednesday, who's matching up. But let's go back to the live game. And you can actually, I wonder if you can go back. Let's see. Go back to a previous day. Yes, we can go back to a previous day and see what it shows us because this is when the Mariners actually won the game yesterday. And there we go, it shows uh, Seattle Oakland gives you some stats and things like that from yesterday's game. So, if you're a baseball fan at all, um, then this app, I think it was $14.99 or something like that. But boy, I tell you, when I travel a lot and I'm out of the city and out of the area, it sure is nice to be able to follow my team um, wherever I am. So, um, I'm pretty excited about this application. Oh, there we go. Got two balls and a strike. It's got the A's up now. Must have missed that change there. So I'm going to go listen to the rest of this game because it's 1-1, uh, one to one, bottom of the 10th. A's are up. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. we got a guy on first and second not looking good, but there's one out. Um, hopefully the Mariners can uh, can pull this one out down in uh, Oakland to start off at 2-0 again. Thanks for watching. So while I listen to the... The... Uh, the game in the background actually turned down just a little bit. I like to listen to the game. I'll turn it off for now. But I just wanted to show you the settings too. I almost forgot about that. So you can set up your favorite teams. You can enter MLB.com account. Um, set the frequency of the scores view. And then if we go to standings, you see you can see the different standings. American League, National League, Wild Card. So here we've got Seattle right there, 1-0. You can go to Get MLB TV. 
launches in Safari, no thanks. MLB site, Safari, the mobile site, blackout restrictions. Let's see what this is about. And then it just gives you more information about uh, different blackout. And then we've got some at bat frequency act frequently asked questions that has uh, some information for you. Let's see, first full season of MLB TV subscriber access. When you buy it, leagues and team news, set up favorite teams. I thought you could uh, listen to the game day audio in the, yeah, if you have trouble opening the game day, please check the number of Safari tabs. Okay, so you should be able to actually play the audio in the background, it says, for the, um, for the games. So let's go back over here. Let's go back to the audio. Third, barely one inning, and out of Ramirez has gone one inning of relief. If I was to go to another app. Yeah, see, it's not playing it. I wonder if my Safari, they said the tabs. Let's see how many tabs I've got open. Oh, I do have a lot of tabs open. Let's eliminate some of these. Open tabs. Let's go back in MLB. Really would like to play it in the background. That'd be kind of nice. You could actually... Oops. Oh, game's over. Oakland scored. So I can't test it out. Let me see. There's another game going on. Uh, it's all finals. Oh, no. Here we go. Let's choose this game. We got San Diego, Arizona. Let's turn on the audio. Okay, now we'll try going out. Ah, I'll have to work on that and see what the audio is uh, is not playing for because it's supposed to play in the background when you jump back out of it. And maybe uh, I did see that was an iPhone iPod Touch, but it should work the same in uh, in the iPad. So that's a look at MLB at bat on the Apple iPad.